Oh, what can I not? Oh, 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 what is going on? Oh, oh. Hello, everyone. My name is Kagan. And I was recommended to play this game, Alan Wake 2, because a good friend of mine told me that it's one of the most terrifying games that's come out in a long time. So, let's get into it. I've never played this game before, so I have no idea what's going to happen, but I trust my friend because he's got good taste in scary games. I think I'm going to go on normal. Yeah, just to start because if it's as scary as he's describing, back to the beginning. We Back to the beginning. To a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. I wonder what the full story is. Ooh. Ominous. Well, in a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. Okay. And the trick is not to end up as either. Yeah, I don't want to be a, a victim by the genre, or a monster. All ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the okay. story I hoped it would be. A deer head? This is not the ending I wanted. I can't always get the ending you want. This story will eat us alive. I hope not. This story is a monster. Oh, it's laying in the it's laying and in the lake. Monsters wear many faces. Monsters wear many faces. Monsters wear many, many different faces. I don't even know if I'm ready for this. I haven't played a scary game in a long time. It's dark. Oh, my man has got a really bad receding hairline. And he has got a hairy back. Oh my god, somebody take him to the wax shop. Bro has an incredibly hairy back. And tush. <laughs> this is my... I'm this guy. Okay. Well, this is really strange. Who's this... Okay. I I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to blur this out. If there's any butt cheeks that's being blurred right now. Blur it out, please. I don't want anyone to see this slightly overweight aging balding man or his privates. Dude, how did you end up in the middle of the woods with no clothes on? Okay. The people looking for me? Are you looking for me? Hey, wait, come back. Where are you guys going? I need some clothes. Oh, dude has got to be cold right now. You know he's cold right now. It does not look... It does not look warm out there. There's a lot of noises coming all over the place. Can I run? And do anything? Nope. Can just walk. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Was it ready for that? Oh my god. You can sprint by toggling. You stick, press the left stick. Okay. Not a very... He's obviously not a marathon runner. He's probably struggling right now because he's probably cold. Wet. What?
Oh my god. Yeah, this guy is not capable of defending himself right now, so... What is that noise? Who... Who is coming after you? Where's the people searching for you? Okay, is that friends? What? What? Okay, I don't know if I should go that way or that way. I'm going to get away from that. I don't know what that is. That's a little ominous. Sounds like somebody's got a gun. Oh, can I not? Oh, 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 what is going on? Oh, oh. Oh, was that supposed to happen? What is going on right now? Why are they binding me? Binding me to a table? What? Where's the rest of the stuff? It's fresh. They just cut out his heart. What is going on? Yeah, definitely gonna censor that little PP. That little PP out. <laughs> Gotta censor that. Censor that little. That Jimmy Dean sausage. Gotta center that out. That's not appropriate. Not for uh, our average viewer here. Bro, that was terrifying. Wow. That goes unreasonably hard in the first five minutes of the game. Bro. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, mom. I'm doing good, mom. Just came back from school. Than I thought. You packed a good lunch I'm for sorry, me today. I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, mom. Oh my god, mom. People get all murdery. It's not your it's fault, not mom. Just work stuff. <laughs> Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. Oh, that sounds like a no good show. Spoilers. Spoiler well, alert, show, Mom. You were supposed <laughs> to wait and watch with me. Oh. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. This is what happens hey, when you go on work trips, Mom. So you miss your favorite okay. episode of your TV show with your little son. Bye, kiddo. Bye, kiddo. Who's that? Who's that guy on the left? He looks like the briefcase guy from Half-Life. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. <laughs> oh, they both got coffee from Starbucks, looks like. Sipping on some caffeine. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. I'm glad you're oh, they're in the FBI. Me, Anderson. Okay. It's right up your alley. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Very nice sweater. Very nice pattern sweater okay. there. Must be chilly. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Oh, don't be so down in the dumps, bud. You haven't even found the the dead guy yet. Oh yeah, this looks like a super fun place to camp. Everything's overgrown. <laughs> wow, the graphics on this are a pretty. Was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's a deputy. The car, so where's the deputy? 
eaten by a bear? Let's hope I'll not. Check out that map. Invitation. Return one. I don't know what that means. Maybe part one? Oh, nice. Nightmare territory. You're the one who wanted to switch. I think I hear someone. I'm not walking all the way back Could down. be our deputy. I can go take a look. Oh, look, he threw it in the trash can. Good. Doesn't litter. Hey, over here. Hey. What's up, dude? Hey there. Rental hey, cabins? Right. Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. Yeah. You're half right. Anderson. Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already Saga. know my partner. Alex Interesting. Casey. Interesting name. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I, I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that you know the uh, classic name for a a cop, Mulligan. Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit. They didn't hear me, did they? <laughs> okay. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell him about the heart. Tell him about, tell him about how he's missing his heart. I'm getting to that, Thornton. We reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be but you know inside mm. makes sense were there any witnesses yeah a couple out of towners i wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night major the city folk don't forget those city folk now anything against city folk right thornton <laughs> but don't worry Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. Oh, good. All right, well, let's have a look I at that body. body. I want to see that How body. Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. They got it, Thornton. They got it, Thornton. Boy, I sure can't wait to find an aging bald, an aging balding white Before man that's slightly case, obese. Time to review the facts of the case so far. Mm. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Yeah, let's review the facts. An aging. I need to think through the facts of the case. Balding. Oh, I need to think through. I need to actually physically think through. Hold on, case board. Yeah, this the is inside place. my mind. My, my mind my place. Technique. Ooh. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mind place again for each case. The mind place. Using each field office as a model in my head. The mind place. Wonderful. The facts are on the board. Oh, they are. Oh, she's got the red lines and everything. Case board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Okay. Caseboard is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation or progress. You can use this to move around. Okay. All right. We can use that. You're not free to navigate the case board. All right. All right. Let's see. A series of murders. The previous murders. Internal dissemination. Confidential. FBI. Okay. Let's see. Murder methods. Slight difference in murders. Bloating only commonality in bodies, but not cause of death. Chest trauma. Exposure to water post-mortem. Hmm. Let's see. Bruising on wrists and legs. Deep gash in the chest. Heart missing. All bodies experience bloating. Interesting. Like they've been soaking up water. Okay, victims. All victims reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities. Ted Lane, dentist, stab wounds, bloating, bruising on the wrists. Okay. Wendy Davis, teacher. Body bloated, large chest wound. 
and Percy Wolf, store owner, bruising, heart removed, strange tattoos. I wonder what his tattoos look like. Were they, were they tattoos of a cartoon or a video game, maybe? Hmm. Let's see. Killer peep, killer profile. Talk to someone. Post-mortem tattooing of the body. Victim 3 was covered in illegible tattoos. A message, for, a message from the killer, maybe, or their art. Apart from going missing in 2010, the victims have nothing apparent in common. The murder targets have no discernible common traits. Okay. Killer may be a sportsman or a hunter. Chest trauma resembles animal, animal butchery techniques. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's see here. Goals to meet Deputy Thornton at the general store. All right, well, let's go back. Get to the crime scene. How do we go back now? Do I have to go back to this spot right here? Or do I need to go back to the case board? Need to talk to someone. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Oh yeah, sorry. I was in my mind place. We're just getting started. Sorry. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Sorry, I was just thinking. Hey Casey, you putting me in charge? Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. Well, that's because I've got a mind place. Have had the rest of us baffled. Okay, what are we doing? Stuck him on a rock? Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm -hmm. Real funny, Anderson. What happens? What happens to cop? What happens? What happens to cops that says it's their last case? I'm not that old either. Oh yeah, it's tough on the knees jumping off that little thingy. That's a long way to get down there, huh? Nature. That's what I'm saying, dude. Gives me a headache, Gives me a headache too. Sky. What's over there? I guess it doesn't matter. We'll go this way. See what's over here. Not a bad place to get murdered. Nope, definitely not. If getting back to nature is Covered up sign. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here oh, do you? feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? <laughs> if they did, next coffee's on me. General store. It's all destroyed. I take it. Crant, like That's me. decrepit. Service. Ready to get this case solved. I bet. Bodies behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Oh, nice. Thanks. Deputy. Dip. Oh, FBI, huh? Yeah, that's right. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. Yeah. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. Oh, that's an important one. Those are real? You guys hiring? I've seen some UFOs now. Let's just see this body, shall we? Yeah, let's see it. Oh, here we go. Now, this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now, he didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and... Oh, my uh, God. They just laid his heart on the table? Tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Bro, what? the MO of the previous murders? Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You unlocked your first key, first key image. You can place it on the case board inside of the mine place. All right, what's my key image? Allows Saga to be to see active clues. Key image can be selected with A. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Oh, perfect place for it right there. Coincidence? Now. Coincidence? Ah. Uh, here we go. Cauldron Lake murder scene. 
begins a new line of investigation. When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Okay, objectives are reviewable, the case board and your goals. Investigate crime scene. Okay, mental picture taken. You can collect clues. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Okay. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Yeah. That's a, that's a clue, right? That he's balding, aging white male. No, it's not. He's got some fat, bloated feet. The dude is like swollen with just bloat. Is that it? Is that all that I see here? Nothing else? No other clues anywhere? What about this? No. Newly discovered clues can be placed onto the open question. Okay, there we go. Whoop. Sure. Sure. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. Oh, it does. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. Hmm. This makes four murders that we know about. Interesting. The clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. Okay, you can check the updated goals by pressing Y. Learn more about the victim. Learn more about the killer. Or leave to connect. Okay, well, we don't know anything about the victim yet. Or that, so we need to find some more evidence. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Must find more clues. Some sloshing around Multiple over here. Multiple people were here. Multiple, Multiple people. Multiple killers? Multiple people? Multiple killers? Is that what that means? Uh, were they drinking beers? Someone was drinking beer. Yes, they were. They spent time here. Were Waiting. they... Taken pictures. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Hey. Was it for a camera? Was it for a camera? Seems that way. Seems like it was for a reason. Alright, let's go back to the case board. See, the killers. Yeah, that's definitely going by the killers. All right, for later, tripod. For later. Okay. Well, the victim. No. Nope. Guess we'll hang on to those clues Was it for now. Here or brought here after. For display. I don't know. Have you identified the victim? I sure haven't. Sure have not. Large amount of blood on the table. Ooh, deduction. The victim died here. Yes, he did. He most certainly did. Is this a clue? Jugs? Jugs? See, have you Any identified? Idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. Oh. He was FBI. He came to town about oh. 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. His name was Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Okay. Well. Brothers in arms. So you knew our You knew victim. our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Ran into him in Quantico. Many cases together. 
After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Oh. Got the boot pretty quick after that. If you didn't realize, Quantico, Virginia is the, where the FBI training academy is. It's the same place that, that Marine Corps officers go to train to become, like, full-fledged Marine Corps officers. So we trained in the same area. I actually did some land navigation passing by the FBI um, training facility at night one day when I had to do night land nav and uh, find a point over near the FBI training academy. I'm sure they see lost lieutenants running all over the place over there all the time. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? Yeah, what happened? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze. Booze led to paranoia. Yeah, booze is not wild ideas. Booze is bad to go. Ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. Yeah. But no happy ending. So he's been missing since 2010. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. It's a long time, bud. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Nothing good. Probably something this town wants to forget. Yeah, more than likely. All right, you got anything to say? Everything. Think this everything? For now, at least. For now. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. Oh, you need to think about it. Oh, I guess we're going to this place. All right, case board. Let's see, Nightingale. That is the victim. Yes. Thornton. Victim is Robert Nightingale. Yep, that's also going up under victim. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Maybe it's the killers? Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Ooh. Quite the party. Tripod found near body. Premeditated or spontaneous? Probably premeditated, bud. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the right. time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. They were waiting no, for him. Nightingale. But why an aging, balding white man? Years. He's been fat for 13 why? years. Why now? Yeah, I don't know. Victim came from where? Profiling. Oh. Get into the subject's head. I hear a cat outside my door. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Okay. Piece it together. Piece it all together. He was getting lonely. He was getting quite lonely. We're playing a scary game right now, Trigger. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Yes. You purring? What a good boy. All right. Don't do anything crazy now. He's a good boy. He means well. He's just, uh, he's just a little lonely. But let's hear. We'll get back to it. You can use profiling inside a sag of mind place to get inside the heads of suspects and victims. Okay. Profiling. All right. Using her intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. Nightingale. I'm saying ritual murder. Yeah. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. Who's home? This wasn't some random act of violence. No, it was not. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. Mm. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. A container for a heart. He was a heart container. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Oh wait, I already did this. Nope. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was 
was there too. Who? You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. What? What? What is that? What is that? What? Oh. All right. What do we need to do over here, huh? This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst, Mom. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't think that does anything. Uh, is there anything else we need to do in here? I don't think so. Oh, there's a map. Let's look at that. Murder site was right here. Where was the lake was... Oh, he started from, like, down here, too. Yeah. Witch's Hut? Witch Finder's Station? What is a witch's hut? Why is that on a map? Okay. Alright, so... Oh, wait, there's, a un there's multiple undiscovered maps outside of just Cauldron Lake? Wow, this is going to get real deep. We're, we're about to get real deep with this one. All right. Well, let's head back for now. I think that's everything we can do. At least here. Anything else? No? Oh, hey. Oh, what is that? Oh, is that when you're, like, dodging somebody that's trying to whack you? Okay. Do I need to? I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Gonna go check something out. What? Do I need to go by myself? Where's the? Can I go Locked. in here? They really don't want people coming in here. That guy is a little creepy. I don't know what he's saying to my partner over there, but... No, sir, I don't like it. No. You want to let me in? Anderson. Hey, let's get back to work over here, can we? Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. Nice talking to you, too. Okay. Well, guess we're not going that way. Let's see what's over here, shall we? Hmm. More weird fertilizer. A creepy twig sculpture? Yeah, that's kind of strange. Do I have a flashlight? Ah, yes. That's... That's good. What is that? This is a, a creepy little. Why do you have the windows covered up like that? There's these these triangles everywhere. What does that mean? Sleeping bag. Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. But what if that's not true? What if it's something else? Something less natural and much more man-made, intentional. They say the lake's not formed, it's designed, and it has a purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery, ready to be activated at the press of a button. And the people with the button, they're in that big house by the lake, preparing. I know it. First drawing, waterline, real caldera is made from a volcano, lava. Second drawing, waterline, engineered structure, strange machines. Weird. Okay. Well, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but somebody left it. 
Somebody deliberately left that. What's over there? Oh, a deer. Anybody in there? Hello? Oh, hey, hey, easy. Don't knock stuff down like that. Jesus. Careful. Hey there, Mr. Deer. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Yeah, you remind me of the beginning of the game where there was a deer head halfway in the water right before a naked white man stood up and he was balding and slightly obese. Is there anything else in here? I don't think there is. I don't think there's anything else in here for me. Oh, there's a hatchet right there. Put that away for now. Can't hatch it doesn't count for anything. Okay. What are you doing? Alright. Maybe Oh, here we go. Wonder what's inside. Confused? Follow these I steps. Take a look around for a way to open this thing. Wash your hands. Take the chicken out of the fridge. Take a nap. Wash hands. Take chicken out of fridge. Take a nap. Okay. Let's see. Wash hands. There's got to be a... Wash your hands. Maybe in the bathroom, I guess? Or oh, wait. Ten ten. Or wash your hands. Take the chicken out of the fridge. What? Does it have anything to do with these triangles? Wash your hands. I don't know what that means. Wash your hands, take the chicken out of the fridge. Or is it wash your hands here? And then take a nap. Obviously, you're going to take a nap on the bed. So there's triangles there, but there's also that. What? Hey, Casey. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the rid A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. Wash. Okay, so they're, they're the triangles in there. It's not like a number. Okay, all right. That makes sense. I should have looked at that before. I don't know why I didn't. Wash your hands. That's what you see. So the triangles are overlapping the bottom corners. Take the chicken out of the fridge. They're the, t the tips. Like one upside down and then back to back. All right. Tips. Back to back. And like that. All right. Overlapping bottom. Let's see. Is that not right? Let's see. Maybe it's the sink in the bathroom. That's got to be what it is. If it's not, if it's not that one, then it's got to be tip to tip sideways. Wash your hands. Take the chicken out of the fridge. Take a nap. Okay. So that's diagonal tips touching, up and down tips touching. Okay. Okay. 
Ah, yes. Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Well, I'm going to take it anyway. Do I look like a tree? Nice. That's sweet. Ooh, another thingy. Another thingy. That's them over there. Maybe I need to go this way. Because we haven't been this way. Oh. Whoa, this is a little dark and dreary, huh? Oh, this is where they got him. Yeah, this is where they nabbed him. They caught him right over here. What's that? UFOs. Writing this down in case it happens again and I forgot, or I forget. I got that feeling again. It hit me suddenly at 1.15 after I'd finished my ama on the porch of the trailer. I got in the car and drove it, chasing it. Starry night, not much moon. As I expected, it led me past Bright Falls to Cauldron Lake. I tried to find the right spot, the right emotion, the right thought, the combination to have it all aligned to make it happen. Terrified it would. Where is it? It didn't, not this time. Frustrated, but relieved. I scanned the sky for the shapes, the objects. Nothing. But when I blink repeatedly, I think I saw the afterimage of an octahedron. It faded fast. When I got ready to drive back, I felt someone watching me. Here, but not here. Okay. It's him. I know it is. Does he know I'm getting close? I'm on the right track. I was right to come to Bright Falls. Interesting pictures. Okay. Oh, wait. I didn't check the UFO one out. What does that say? UFOs and you. The ultimate guide to spotting un unidentified flying objects. Okay. Interesting, interesting, is interesting. That is that a kids lunchbox? An Alex Casey kids lunchbox? lunchbox? How do you like Casey the knitting he here? Jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books. Manuscript really fragments. What kind of a manuscript? What are all these little? What are these eggs? What are these hacky sacks? Is that very? Manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the mine place. Interesting. There's some role-playing game stuff put in here. Let's see, what can we upgrade? Pistols. Featuring the service pistol. Oh, okay, so yeah. I can get another headshot. What does that mean? Land two headshots in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. To stun? To stun? A headshot doesn't, like, kill the enemy? Okay, increase the magazine size by 50 by 50% 50 again and again hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode It significantly increases the rate of fire. Well, I don't necessarily want that. I Think increasing the magazine size would be beneficial Interesting well Let's see Oh, here we go. Alex Casey lunchbox. No way. Another message? I hope so. Oh, a whole nother case file. Oh, there it is. Let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, here we go, here we go. Who left these here? Is that right? Why is, that not, why is that not letting me do it? Oh, is there another one up here? Oh. The note inside mentions making knitting just for me. How do they know I knit? Or maybe just a coincidence. Okay. Cases. What other case? Well, we got previous murders. Murder at Cauldron Lake. Wait. Oh. Cases. There are zero clues for that. One clue with that. Hmm. The victim? Yeah, it goes right over here, I think. No? Yeah. 
There we go. But why now, after 13 years, where has he been? Who knows? All right, let's go the back. Is connected to Nightingale somehow. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Let's take a look down by the lake. Yeah, let's go. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. I haven't had to use my service pistol yet. Looks to be like a Glock, potentially. Or a SIG. I don't know. Is this the right way? Can I not go this way? No. Doesn't look that way. Can I climb up this? Oh, nice. Nice shortcut. All right. What is that? A lean to? What? Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Yeah. Can be a dangerous place. Why are you saying it like that, buddy? That's a little sketchy. You're making me a little paranoid. Let's see. Cauldron Lake, this way. Witch's Ladle. I didn't know trees got that big. Oh my god. Gives me the creeps. Yeah, that's you need to get out more. pretty big. What it is, is this? Creepy though. Yeah, yeah, it is creepy. Which is ladle? A witch with no heart. A witch with Strange no heart. Of Al murder. Interesting. There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape, and yet there are so many mysterious stories about the lake. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld, or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned. But her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before she was, if she was not a witch before, she was now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes. Creepy. Okay. Well, oh. what are you doing in there, bud? Hmm? See something weird? Oh, hey, a clue? Tracks. Barefoot. Barefoot tracks. Nightingales? Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. No, it doesn't make any There's sense. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Yeah. You want to like, pick it up or read it or something? There's a piece of paper on the ground. Is that it? Oh, there we go. A page full of text on one side. A Not page printed. full of text on one side. With a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm -hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Mm. Killer left a message. Killer left a message. It's for us. For us? Not us. The victim was one of their own. Okay. Special Agent Robert Nightingale. One of their own? And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, words. the words. These words felt like a message. Felt like a message. What? Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept, even, even if they, they knew, knew it would end up hurting them? Someone's been watching us. Not the last? You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. I should profile Nightingale about this page. Why, why does why does the author look like Jared Leto or Jared Leto? I think it's Jared Leto. The author 
that's writing the book looks like Jared Leto. That's funny. Okay, anyway. Uh, here, we'll go a little bit more. Let's see. Wait, what are you going up there for? What are you going over there for? You're not going down here? Suit yourself. I don't know why you're going over there. I think I saw something. Did It'll you? only take a minute. I'll wait here. Can Can't you... go any further. Water's too deep. Oh, yeah, that's a... Uh... I think I saw something. What did you see? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. This is a thick forest, boy. Thick forest. What's that? Are you coming in? Are you coming, I'll bud? Look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. That's not creepy at all. I want to walk around for a minute. You know where to find me. Okay. Uh okay. What is this? Is that anything? No, that's a rock. That's nothing. All right, where are you going to All right. The witch's hut. Here lived the witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spirit may still haunt this place. Oh boy! All right. Yeah, let's see here. Small. Interesting. What do we got on the cupboards here? Got some candles, some scented candles, something right there. That's a candle too. Oh, you, did you just break something? Some potions, another skull, some more potions. Why is the table set? Like somebody was planning on cooking some dinner. Cooking some dinner. Was I supposed to close that? It doesn't look like there's anything to interact with in here. Uh, I'm thinking I might just leave. Wait. No, I can't do anything on that. Alright, well. I guess there's nothing in there for me right now. Alrighty, then. What's that? Looks like a propane... Interesting. Okay, like a those propane things, like a jet boil. Oh, what do we got here? Interesting little spot, little nook. What's uh, what's in here, huh? What is that? Five-hour energy? Five-hour energy drinks? Okay, well. Friday, Midge told me today that her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't told I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her to a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. But who wants to stay in bright <laughs> falls? Jeez, you don't have to say such harsh language. Sunday. So I told her, I said thanks. <laughs> kill me. Monday. I snuck out last night again. I went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here like I always do. Instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going on down there. I'm going to find out what. Going to back, I'm going to go back there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's going to be epic. Okay. If you say so, bud. I don't know who. Box again. Oh, What? Who's leaving these out here? Yeah, who's leaving these lunch boxes by all these like egg looking things? I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. You mean Jared Leto? I think he means Jared Leto. Okay. All right. Jared is watching over us. Thanks, Jared. 
All right, uh, is that everything over here? Yeah, seems like it. Seems like, wait. Yeah, that's everything. Okay. Let's go across this here. I don't like that being open. I might close that. That's the little... Makes me paranoid having that door open when I'm running by it. What was that? Did I just see something? Should I go up or down? Up or down? Up or down. All right, we'll go down. Down probably ends soon, I bet, because it joins up with the lake. Uh, what's down here? Man, that looks that looks like quality, quality graphics. My goodness. There's nothing down there for me. What's this? What is that? Pills? Can't walk. Can I walk this way? No. Nope. Nope, sure can't. It's a little too deep. Uh. I'm getting flashbacks. Of what? Remember Ohio? Sure. The North Side Slasher. But that case was completely different. The trees, Anderson. He hid the bodies in the forest. Yeah. About that. Hiding the bodies in a forest. That's, uh, an old phone booth. Well, that's the problem with forests, aren't, isn't it? Because, uh, there's just so many places to hide things. You know? There's so much room for hiding stuff. Because, uh, there's so many deciduous trees. And deciduous trees make for good camouflage on corpses. Corpse camouflage, cover and concealment. Which way? Which way should I? Can I go up here? What's up here? Let's take a, let's take a peek. I feel like you're getting a little far from your buddy, though. Hopefully this dead ends. Oh, nope, sure doesn't. Oh, what we got over here? There's another lunchbox. Another lunchbox and more of those eggies. My dad used to say, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Not sure where the tough get going to, but maybe you'll find it inspiring. Thanks, Jared. Okay. Oh, let's see. Mortar Falls. Like a, like a mortar tube. Mortar Falls, this powerful feat of nature will revive the spirit as it does the surrounding nature. The churning, grinding waters at the bottom of the falls resemble a mortar and pestle, quite like the one the Witch of Cauldron Lake is fabled to have used to travel through the night sky. Okay, so this witch doesn't fly around on a broomstick, she flies around on a mortar and pestle. Uh, way to be different. Way to be unique. Okay. Well, that's an interesting fact about the Witch of Cauldron Lake. She flies around in a mortar and pestle. This just circles back. And... Cauldron Campground. Did I... Just do a full circle? Where... Where do I need to go, bro? Oh, that's the hike trail. Okay, okay, okay. So, I just need to rendezvous back with my dude. Honestly, I think I've looked at everything. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've looked at everything that I could have possibly looked at. Um, let's just find my partner. See if we can't link up and... Do a quick rendezvous. Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? 
This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Oh, you know Imagine what? We haven't been inside the general crater out of the earth. Caldera is a pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. <laughs> Cheating on a science fair. All right, let's see here. Monday, 9-3. Some suspicious activity spotted. The fielder thought he saw movement in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found, but some were compromised by the fielder. Note to self, train the fielder. Tuesday, 9-4. Nothing to report. Some animals, regular. Wednesday, 9-5. Hunters out after dark. Poachers? Heard some gunshots. Not one of ours. Got to keep an eye on these people. They could get more than the, they bargained for out here. Okay. Interesting. I wonder who wrote that. God, the noises are just... extremely unsettling. Collect. Okay. Is that it? Radios. Bunch of clues in here. Is that what it is? Just a whole bunch of clue skis. Bunch they left of a lot of garbage. Yeah, they sure did. Not the fastidious type. Was... What's in there? Can I get in that? No, it doesn't look like it. That's, uh... What a... What a weird thing to do. This thing's been in abandoned, obviously, for a long time, so it was probably dirty before they got in here. But whoever they were, they were squatting. They were squatting in here for a little bit. Can we open this door? No? Why not? What are you looking at out there, huh? Oh, there's my buddy. Hey, bud. I'm coming to you. That is a... I'm gonna go check something out. What? You just checked right it back. out. Got it. What? You just checked it out. This is one of your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter, safety. Uh, oh, there he is. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Hey, it's not? You made it Nightingale back. was out in the Good. woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. Yeah. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Yeah. I haven't figured that part out yet. Why was he mm -hmm. nakey? Lots of questions. Yeah. Lots of answers for us to find. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Yeah, just like you said, bud. You got anything else to say? How about you? Hmm? Anything you want to tell me? Let's go to my head. What do we got? We got any extra clues? My lunch... Wait... Oh, here we go. Alex Casey lunch boxes. Who left these? No, that didn't work. Is that also right? Who manuscripts oh yeah that's the the message that uh that's the message Alan left them or I should say Jared 
profiling. We got some. Ooh, the page. We found the page in the woods. A story about these events. Mm. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Okay. Inside the awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. Inside? I must find out what. I must find how did you know? How did you guess? How could you have possibly found out that there was something in there? I don't. I don't. How how did you inside your head place? What is in there? Oh, there's the weapons upgrade. I got six of those. Nice. Is there anything in here? No. How how could you have possibly known to look inside of his chest from being inside your head? Miss you, kiddo. I'll oh, okay. That's the kid. I'm assuming that's Daddy O. The rest of the bureau knew what a softy Casey is. Oh wait, no, that's Casey. He looks very familiar. He looks like some sort of a, some actor I've seen in some show. Hmm. All right. Anyway, I guess we're gonna go digging in his chest now with our nasty little dirty fingers. Wait. Right. Right. Or are we not going to do that? Are we not doing that? Do I need to talk to these guys first? Is that... Is that... You see anything in there? Is that not it? Am I not... Okay, what, 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 what? I Literally, you just said dig into his chest. There's something in there. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. Watch one more time. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside the awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Okay, I must find out what. Okay. What does that mean? Does that mean I need to stick my fingers in his chest? Hold on. Cases? Oh, we got a bunch. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Okay. Footprints. Okay. Trail has gone cold. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. Reading. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. Okay. See what I can find inside. That was what I needed to do. I needed to finish placing these things in the mine place. There's more going on here that I'm seeing. I need to examine this body properly back in town. Okay. So the killer is watching us. Reading the words. These words felt like a message. Someone playing a game with them. Interesting. Okay. All right. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. All right. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Of course. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called. To say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. Shortcut key. Thanks. Take the car. the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At 
The diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Yeah, there we go. Seems I like shortcuts like in video games. They're nice. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Yeah, we should not go for a hike. It's a Deputies little exactly sketchy in here. Task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Yeah. This is a uh, it's a little much for your average your average bear. What's up here? Oh. Some more eggies? Another one of those lunch Another boxes. one Another one of those lunch boxes. We're all in this together, hero. Have a heroic day. Let me get some of that scrap. Give me that, give me that manuscript. Thanks. Appreciate that, bud. What is that? A dream catcher? Oh, that's cute. No entry? Okay. Weird noises coming around me. Okay. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Yeah, it's a lot Part of removed, whole lot of clues. Tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. Tripod for a camera? Yep. To record a, a snuff film? Yeah, Maybe. probably. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, I guess you want to do this in a, like a secure facility not in the middle of the woods i get that i do get that because you don't want to contaminate the crime scene probably what's over here is there some more notes i'll be back in a second roger okay the rarest wildlife in the pacific northwest okay so we're in like probably washington state or something wait Let's see, is Cauldron Lake a real place? Let's see. Cauldron Lake. Okay, the only Cauldron Lake that pops up in Google Maps is in Antarctica, so probably not a real place. Anyway, I finally made my way to Cauldron Lake. The fence was easy to climb over with the proper gear and skills, which I thankfully possess. Next goal, spotting the rare and elusive orange crowned warbler. A little late in the season, but hopefully I can catch it before it begins its journey south. I've noticed intriguing behavior in the surrounding common bird life. They seem to be alarmed and swarm around the lake. No birds of prey nearby. There are some tr strange sounds carried on the wind, however. Yeah, no kidding. Nothing I can recognize or explain. Getting a little concerned. I might have to find another. Uh, oh, whoop. I might have to find another spot, somewhere safer. The sounds are getting closer. Okay. Moved inland. Foliage is stunning. Must come back in fall. Had to stop and sketch this gorgeous vine maple because that's that's what you do when you stop. You got to sketch vine maples. Just at the way the Methuselah's beard hangs off of it. This is why trees are better than people. There's a lot of people in the Pacific Northwest that do think that way. Speaking of people, I saw some drunk guy staggering around the forest earlier acting weird. Maybe drugs? Kept my distance. Should probably find another spot. So annoying. Oh, you know what? I bet this is the bookers. I bet those people that were looking at him with those flashlights were the bookers. After I saw that weirdo guy, I decided to change spots again. I moved up the mountain a bit. Found a fantastic overlook to camp at, but I'm more interested in this Alaska onion grass. Invasive but edible and surprisingly tasty. Started hearing wolves or wild dogs or something like 10 minutes ago, but they sound they sound wrong? Rabies? Want to leave, but the sun is going down and my stupid phone is dead. Going to hide in the tent and hope they go away. Something is really not right about this place. Yeah, I'd say so, bud. Yeah, that's probably the bookers, those people that we're going to be probably hey, uh, interviewing up. in town. Oh, Toy. get him a, uh... <laughs> She's 14, Casey. Oh, she. Okay. So, what do I get her? I don't get know. Her a book. That book's Something not a bad idea. Weird and dark. Maybe that'll weird and dark? Uh, not Here too dark, are. though. Not too dark. Let's back Maybe to just a little bit dark. Not too dark, though. 
All right. Well, that was an interesting journey so far. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you enjoyed this game so far. It's definitely creepy. I have a feeling it's going to get a lot creepier. So let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. See ya.